Now, some of you might have seen my video on the Porta component to HDMI scaler, and it does a really good job of scaling up component for modern TVs on HDMI. But the one thing it doesn't have is a lot of selectable output options. Basically gives you 720 and 1080p. So today we're going to take a look at the Sunatch component to HDMI scaler. This scaler is a little different in that it has a number of selectable output resolutions. So let's check it out. And in this video, I'm going to unbox the scaler, then I'll go through the specifications, then we'll hook it up to the TV behind me and we'll look at the Xbox 360 through the scaler. And then I'm going to do some direct captures from the scaler as well, so that you can check out the difference in the video quality. And I wanted to remind you that I'm doing a podcast and streaming audio package giveaway. I'm giving away a Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 audio interface and an Audio-Technica AT2040 broadcast dynamic microphone. So check out the pinned comment below for the three videos that you can enter the contest with, as well as details. Let's go ahead and open up the Sunatch component to HDMI converter scaler. The box is nothing that special, but I suppose it's decent enough given the price. Inside we have the unit itself and it is in a nice molded plastic tray so that'll give it actually some good protection during shipping. I'll go ahead and take the uh, plastic off the unit. This certainly is very lightweight but I suppose it doesn't need a whole lot in terms of circuitry inside. It's all metal construction so that's going to be very good to keep heat dissipation under control. It's got the component inputs on the one side, it has on the other side a 5 volt power jack, an HDMI out and a button to control the resolution of the HDMI output as well as a power lamp. Then inside we also have a power adapter and again because it's 5 volt I think we could use a USB adapter with this as well if we have the right cable. And then we get the instruction manual as well. So let's check it out. I'll take a look at the specs on this new component to HDMI converter and it has an input signal range of 0.5 to 1 volts. Now the output jack of course is a standard type A female HDMI. It has component video input which is three RCA jacks, audio input two RCA jacks. The output video you're going to get is HDMI 1.3 so it's going to be 1080p and specification for vertical frequency range is 50 or 60 hertz. Now you have bandwidth of 1.65 gigabits per second at 165 megahertz. That's plenty for anything we're bringing in with a component signal. And then the input resolutions, which I think is the most important thing here. This converter works with both 480i and P at 60 hertz, 576i and P at 50 hertz, so PAL or NTSC. You can also use it with 720p, 50 or 60 hertz, and 1080i or P, 50 to 60 hertz. Now this converter allows you to set the output resolution to a number of different options. So you can output at 800 by 600 at 60 hertz, 1024 by 768 at 60 hertz, 1280 by 1024 at 60 hertz, 720p at 60 hertz, and of course 1080p at 60 hertz. Now one thing to keep in mind here is this does not support 1440p. That's not as commonly used with retro consoles and devices, but just so you're aware of that. Now I also tested out the 800 by 600, 1024 by 768, and 1280 by 1024 modes. Now I couldn't capture those directly, but I have the 1024 by 768 mode up on the screen behind me using a Sega Genesis with the HD Retrovision component cable. And as you can see, the Sunatch has no problem bringing that in and converting it, maintaining the aspect ratio. So really pleased with the output options on this converter. And it's those selectable outputs that I'm really interested in. We have that button on the side. So what I'm going to do is hook this up to the TV behind me and I'll show you what the output looks like from the Xbox 360. Now I'll run the 360 in at 480p, 720p and 1080p. And so we can see if that makes any difference. But we'll see that on the TV and then I'm going to do some direct captures out of this box so you can compare the video. So first we'll go through the output settings in 720p mode. So right now I have 480p coming from the Xbox 360 and it's being scaled up to 720p by the Sunatch scaler. Now we'll go ahead and we'll change the resolution to 720p on the Xbox. We'll select that and you can see that we have an input of 720p and an output of 720p as well. And so that's what it looks like. Now I'll go ahead and pull the interlaced output from the Xbox 360. And so now what we have is 1080i coming out of the 360 and being output by 720p on the Sunatch. 
And so it's not only deinterlacing, but it's actually downscaling it. And now I'll go ahead and throw the 1080p output up on the 360. And you see we have 1080p coming in and 720p coming out. And now we'll go through the 1080p output mode. So as you can see, we have the Xbox 360 coming in at 480p and being output at 1080p. Now I'll go ahead and I'll switch it up to 720p from the 360. And you see we have 720p coming in and 1080p going out. And then we'll go ahead and switch to 1080i from the Xbox 360. And so now you can see we have 1080i coming in with 1080p going out. And finally, I'll go ahead and I'll bring in 1080p from the 360. So now we have 1080p coming in and 1080p going out. So this scaler is doing a really good job of handling the various resolutions upscaling to 720 and 1080p. So now that you've had a chance to look at what the menu looks like in the different modes for clarity, I'm going to go ahead and capture some gameplay from the 360 again at 480p, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. This time I'll scale it all up to 1080p. This is 480p from the Xbox 360 being upscaled to 1080p. And now we're looking at 720p from the Xbox 360 upscaled to 1080p. And this is 1080i output from the Xbox 360 deinterlaced to 1080p with the scaler. And here we have 1080p being converted straight from the Xbox 360 component to HDMI by the scaler. And here you're looking at a side-by-side -side capture of 480p, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. And you can always pause that side-by-side -side capture to take a look at the quality of the four upscaled modes. And I recorded an image of my controller with the screen in the background at 120 frames per second so I could measure the lag. And I found that the total lag was about 148 milliseconds. Now the Xbox 360 is known to have a software lag of about 80 milliseconds. The TV on my wall is 28 milliseconds and the wireless controller is 21 milliseconds. So when I add that all up, I end up with about 19 milliseconds for this scaler. And based on what I've seen in the test, I have to say that I think the SunAsh component HDMI scaler is the real deal. Now keep in mind, I wasn't able to test the 576 modes, but when I'm looking at the scaler's ability to upscale 480 to 720 and 1080, and to upscale 720 to 1080, not to mention de-interlace 1080i to 1080p, I have to say that's a pretty solid performance. Now I'll have links below in the description in case you want to check it out. And I hope you found this video interesting and enjoyable. Hope it helped you out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.